Good morning children. Today we are going to discuss introduction to Microsoft PowerPoint 2010. Computer presentations are used at offices, schools and many other places to express ideas and opinions to the audience. Here we are going to discuss Microsoft PowerPoint. Microsoft PowerPoint is a presentation software that comes as a part of the Microsoft Office package. PowerPoint is widely used at schools and offices. A presentation created using PowerPoint consists of individual pages called slides. A slide can contain text, images, audio clips and videos. You can also add sound effects and animations to a presentation to catch the attention of the audience. When multiple slides are displayed together in a sequence in full screen mode, it is called a slideshow. How to start a Microsoft PowerPoint? Here are the steps given to start a Microsoft PowerPoint. First click the start button and then select all programs, then choose Microsoft Office, then finally select the option Microsoft PowerPoint 2010. Components of the PowerPoint window Quick Access Toolbar The Quick Access Toolbar is present on the top left corner of the PowerPoint window. It has buttons for frequently used commands. By default, it contains the Save, Undo and Redo buttons. Title Bar This is the horizontal bar at the top of the PowerPoint window. It displays the name of the presentation on which you are currently working. The default name for the first new presentation you open is Presentation 1. You can give a new name to the presentation at the time of saving it. Ribbon. The ribbon is the white band located below the title bar. It contains various commands for working on the presentation. The ribbon has several tabs on it such as File, Home, Insert and Design. The commands under each tab are organized into various groups. Each group contains a set of commands specific to a task. Some groups display a small icon at the bottom right corner. It is called the dialog box launcher. A dialog box appears when you click on this button. The dialog box has more comments related to the group. Status bar. The status bar appears at the bottom of the window. On the left side, it provides details such as the current slide number and the total number of slides in your presentation. The view buttons and the zoom slider are present on the right side of the status bar. Creating a new presentation. Step 1. Open a blank presentation. When you open PowerPoint, a blank presentation gets displayed by default. You can also create a new presentation by following this path. File tab. New blank presentation. Create. A blank title slide is displayed as shown like this. The title slide is used as the first slide to introduce the presentation to the audience. A blank slide consists of the dotted rectangular boxes called placeholders. A placeholder can contain text, table, chart or any other component. Step 2. Adding theme to the presentation. To make your presentation attractive, you can add color and design on the slides. PowerPoint provides ready-made color and design themes in the themes group under the design tab. For your presentation, select a theme of your choice. You can make changes in these themes by using the colors, fonts and effects tool on the right of these themes. Step 3. Adding text to the slide. Click on the title placeholder and enter a suitable title for your presentation. Here we have chosen the title Keeping Fit and Healthy. 
similarly add relevant text in the subtitle placeholder for example you can write your name or name of the person who will deliver the presentation step 4 formatting the text the text formatting options are available in the font group under the home tab select the title you have entered Click on the down arrow next to the font color option in the font group. A color palette drops down. Select the desired color, say red. The color of the selected text changes to red. In a similar way, you can change the font type and size. The B, I and U tools make the text bold, italic and underlined respectively. Step 5. Adding a new slide. To add a new slide to your presentation, click the arrow next to the new slide option in the slides group on the home tab. Choose the desired slide layout for the second slide. Let us choose the title and content layout here. A new slide gets added in the presentation. You may change the layout of your slide anytime later by clicking on the layout option in the slides group. It again opens up the list of slide layouts. From this list, you can choose the desired one. Step 6. Adding a bulleted list. Enter the record information in the placeholder on the new slide. To add bullets, click on the bullets option under the paragraph group of the home tab and choose appropriate bullet style. Step 7. Adding picture on the slide. To insert a picture on the slide, click on the picture option under the images group under the insert tab. In the insert picture dialog box that opens, search the picture that you want to use on the slide. Click on the insert button, the picture appears on the slide. You can resize the picture by dragging its corners. You can drag the picture to the desired place using the mouse. That's all today's class. Remaining portions we will discuss in the next class. You work out MS PowerPoint in your system. Thank you.